Hey, what's up guys? So I wanted to show you guys or kind of explain the situation that I've been going through yesterday, which was so stressful. I don't know if it's happened to a lot of you where you try and send your Android data into your iPhone, like the switcheroo, and essentially move to iOS just doesn't work. You guys gone through that problem where like move to iOS just doesn't seem to work for you? Well, it's been happening to me. It happened to me yesterday and I spent two hours trying to figure out why it wasn't working until I decided to hop onto YouTube. And of course, hopping on YouTube was a good experience for me because I finally found a video that was able to help me, which I can't take full credit for, so I'm gonna link him down below so you can watch and like his video as well, but... Anywho, I am gonna show you guys that solution because it was enough stress for me already and I hope a lot of you can get to this video before you sit there for two hours and kinda frustrate yourself because you couldn't get it done. My parents have been with Android for so many years, their switch is insane. So, I mean, for us to just have these issues is stressful enough because now we have to learn how to use a whole new different phone and I mean, it's not working on the first day, you're just like, ugh. Oh. But I hope you guys like the video, give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you aren't already, and let's get into it. Alright, bye! So I have both phones here, the A70 and the iPhone XR, and I saw this video and the solution is pretty simple. It's not that complicated and I thought I'd show you guys. So the first things first is we're going to go through the setup process on the iPhone and also on your Android. Make sure you have Move to iOS installed through the Google Play. And then once that is done, you're just gonna go ahead and open the app like so boom and then you're gonna go through the setup process and you're gonna go through apps and data and select move from android and you get a code so you go to continue you gotta read your terms and conditions you gotta accept that and once you get to the inputting code page you're going to enter the code as is as you see me doing here And once the code is inputted, you're going to notice that it's basically searching for the iPhone. Now, it does this for quite some time. And during this process, it actually turned my Wi-Fi off, as you can see right there, and it would literally go to LTE on both phones. So I had to grab the iPhone, and with the power button, I had to re-enter in the Wi-Fi, like connect to it again. And no, it didn't interfere, because if that were the case, it would have booted me off already which didn't happen, so I did that, and it still was searching for an iPhone. So after a while of doing this, and like in the reality of this, I was searching for videos to try and help me find a solution because it was so frustrating. And after finding a video, which I said I'd link down below, and it is in the description below, full credit goes to him, I was excited because there was finally a solution to my problem. I mean, I'd been sitting for two hours hoping that I could transfer my files easily, and it wasn't happening. As you could see, it rebooted me. Now, one thing y'all didn't know, if you go to the Wi-Fi on your Android, you're gonna notice that when you get to the code page on the iPhone, you can open your Android's Wi-Fi network and watch it search for Wi-Fi connections. And it's going to show you as right there that iPhone has created a Wi-Fi and the password is essentially the Wi-Fi name. So go ahead and input the Wi-Fi name in there. Like that exactly the way it is. If it's got capitals, lowercase spaces, whatever it's got, you just put it in there, as you can see. And then we're just going to enter it, hit okay. And it says there's no internet connection, that's okay. Go back into move to iOS on the Android and put in the code that you have on your iPhone. It's just like I'm doing here. And see, it is processing. Now, that's something I hadn't seen for two hours. And I'm excited it worked. I'm excited there was an easy solution. Like I said, I'll link the guy down below so you guys can watch his video if you'd like and give him some full credit. But 
If you guys loved the video, please give it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!